I wear, I, I'm the beat, I'm the beat man. Smoked from the smoke shop. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. done? So, Seth Fred wants to know, me to ask you what you're doing. <coughs> we're gonna bang out a quick drum track, <coughs> and we're gonna make three beats real fast for ya. That happened. When did I first start doing it? Uh -huh. Well, it came off of DJing. I used to use this to make my mixtapes, this 8-track right here. Mm -hmm. You bought it for $1,000, like in 2000, and started making mixtapes where, you know, you like, cut up other words or get intros and cut them up and a whole bunch of remixing. It's like a remix tape what I was doing. So I had boys that always rapped and they were like, yo, let me record a dub playlist. So it's, a, it's an eight track, so you know, you got more than one track. We just put the beat on one and recorded the next. Next thing I know, I'm doing more than I'm doing more than DJ and I'm recording people for sessions. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that was gonna happen. It just more people want everyone, oh Smokey got the hookup. Smokey's recording people. So it all just came together and I was just slowly became an engineer. Mm -hmm. yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, and your sound is big. You got a big sound. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We yeah, like I love bass, so mm -hmm. it, my little speaker's bang. I make it bang though. It sounds real professional. Because he knows what's up, his hair is crazy. So when our music just comes out real pro. I, I don't know what to say, it just comes out real tight, like, we're ready to play. As soon as we're done recording, raw, not even mixed, it sounds like it's ready for the radio. And when I spice it up, it's like, it's crazy, we give it to our mixer, it's problems. Danny, when he puts a mix on, it's problems. You know, the work gets down here, send it off to the mixer, problems, we're ready for the, we're ready for the world. We got a world sound, that's what I mean, his music's like a world sound. We got this crazy world sound, we're, we're mixing reggae with my hip-hop. What I know from hip hop, or you know, and then his, we're just mixing everything together. It's real crazy. Uh, I can't forget, like the man. I do the drums just to show you. Sass is the Quincy Jones of this, shit. so he's he's orchestrating all of this. I do the drums. We got Bernie on the keyboards, crazy. Bernie's like the craziest keyboard player from up here. We also got Axe. Y'all must have seen something about Axe, you know? Axe is crazy on the keyboards too. He's a drummer. But we, when we when we all collaborate, it's like we making some history music, like some classic music, you know, like some MJ music. Some it's like powerful, and we haven't even got it out there yet. We just making it. It sounds like a hit already. So y'all be prepared when you hear us, our, the project from Sass, like it's some crazy stuff. The Glenn Rick stuff we're doing. I, I can't even go on. I don't want to bait out anything. Y'all just gonna hear it. Y'all gonna hear music and then hear the, hear the sound we're coming with. Y'all won't even believe it's from up here, what the, the work, but it's not even from, we just got, we are some spaceship stuff. We're like aliens, we are some next level stuff. You know what I mean? We're out of here, we're gone.